guys uh, welcome back to another youtube video and in this video we are going to talk about uh, telegram bots and how telegram bots work for this video i am going to use vs code so we will open vs code then you can do command shift p command shift p and go to maven okay maven and create a maven project okay so we will create a maven project so that we have all our maven structure theek hai maine already create kar liya hai aur kisi ke isko nahi aata to extensions ke andar ja ke maven search kar lena okay if you search for maven you will get this maven for java uh is extension ko install kar le even create maven project okay then you have to select quick start then whatever version it is it would be 1.4 as of now com.example it would be demo bot okay and i will create this in my documents you can create it wherever you want okay it's up to you where you want it A random test any what select destination okay so now it will ask you for some simple things that what would be your version i'll leave it to 1.0 and hit y build success i'll open this up <clears throat> so this is the project structure basically <clears throat> it starts with src that you have the target folder and pom.xml so pom.xml is a dependency file it's the heart of your project where everything goes up okay so if there are any dependencies inside your project it will go inside the dependencies tag okay and it is a xml file that simply means that it would be a tag based file right xml is tag based so you have to go here to the documentation and copy the dependency okay and you have to paste it inside the dependencies tag okay don't paste it anywhere else inside the dependencies tag we need to paste the dependency okay for the telegram bot once we do this we just need to hit save and it will pop you up with like do you want to synchronize the a uh, build and you have to say always or say allow whatever okay so talking about the directory structure the development part goes inside your src inside src you have two folders main and test we are not going to do any kind of testing so i don't uh, like touch the test folder we'll go to the main okay so here we have the app.java okay so this is the app this is our app application basically okay so how we going to proceed we are going to proceed by this okay you can say it just extends the telegram long polling bot okay and before that before even that uh, we need to do this or let's just copy this whole particular thing right so import all the things all the files okay like this so you have to import telegram api long polling bot telegram api exception okay and we're going to remove this okay so what this means is like we we are using the telegram bot api okay and we are creating a bot for ourselves okay so what i'll do i'll create another file inside src only src main java same way where your app.java is located i'll create a file which is bot.java okay and here what i'll say that this bots api it goes up to your new bot okay whatever your bot is so we are registering our bot we are saying bots api or register our bot now here we are going to extend this class to telegram long polling bot okay once we do that we need to override uh, unimplemented methods okay and one more method which is uh, on update on register yeah get bot token this is also the one that we want okay and what is bot token so bot token is just like a id for your bot okay which is private you need to secure that uh, bot token because with that anyone can control your bot okay so this is just like a token for your bot and how to generate it you need to open your telegram okay and you have to go to bot father so i'll say just slash new bot and i will give a name to my bot and i can say it's a demo bot 
now it will ask me for a username so now this way the username should be it should end with bot and it should be a unique username so i'll say uh, demo yt bot maybe it's available yeah it is available see so here i got the uh, token as you can see so i'll copy this token and i will paste it here same way i'll copy the bot username whatever i gave and i will paste it to the bot username once this is done we are good to go with the bot okay i'll remove all the comments and everything so what does on update uh, receive method do is so if we start the bot or if anything happens to the bot okay if i'm sending a message to a bot if any update is reserved then what do we need to do so in that case what i can say is if we have a conditional statement if update dot has message that means if the update has some kind of message what do we need to do we need to print that message okay just for simplicity update dot get uh, message dot get text so we are getting uh, that particular text and we are printing it okay so i will save it and i will run it run the app dot java okay so you will see uh, that now it is running what i will do i'll go to uh, my bot which is demo yt bot and i will start it see if i do slash start you will see that i got slash start in the console so whatever that message is this is the message that i sent to the bot so that we are getting okay if i say hello aryan so you can see hello aryan is received here as well okay so this that means our bot is working next what we are going to do is we need to send the message right uh, to the respective person whoever starts about so for that what we can do is there is a we can get object of uh, send message we call it as a message is equals to new send message now you can see that it takes uh, two parameters one is the chat id and the another one is text so the text is what message we want to send i want to send hello user and uh, where do i need to send is the chat id okay so i want this chat id like whoever starts about i need to send message to that particular person so how to get that we will say update dot get message dot get chat id okay now this particular thing is long we need to convert that into string so i'll say dot to string okay once i do that you can see there are no message but we are not done yet we have to do a, a last step which is execute so if there are any kind of message or voice note we need to execute it so i'll say execute the message if i say execute message then uh, it will execute it and i will say surrounded by try catch let's run the bot again yeah it's working so if i do a slash start now so it will give me hello user if i write anything okay hello or anything so for any update received it will give me a response back which is hello user okay like that now so this is not very convenient we need to have some kind of chatbot so that uh, it replies accordingly okay so we, we can have a multiple if statement that uh, if update dot get message uh, dot get text okay dot equals and if that is equals to slash start then you need to send some kind of message or if it is slash hello or like hello so then there must be something else okay if it is slash hello then the bot should respond differently if it is slash chat then it should respond to differently okay now uh, for the send message we cannot type that again and again and create a uh, you know bunch of multiple objects we can create a function for that we can say public void uh, send message so that would be a uh, my yeah so i'll cut it i'll paste it here so inside send message it you can take string uh, chat id 
or you can take it as long. To convert long into string, we will use long dot to string, and this is my chat ID which I'm passing. And here I will take one more parameter which will be for string text. Okay, and that text I will pass over here. So whenever the uh, somebody do slash start, I will do send message. Okay, and that would be update dot get message dot get chat ID. Okay, and same way, what would be the message? The message would be bot started. Okay, and I will copy this, paste it here and here as well. Now only the message will change. So for hello, it would respond with hello. And I need to get the like you know the first name of that particular user. So I'll say update dot get message dot get from like from which user. You can see it is returning me a user object. Then I can say get first name. Okay, so it will give me that first name back. So I will say hello and X Y Z whatever that particular person name is. And for chat, I will say. Let's uh, chat like this. Okay, so this is uh, how I have created the bot. Now let's test it. Fine, running. See, if I do slash start, we got bot started. Okay, so this is what this was our message. If I do slash hello, now here is the interesting part that we got hello and the name back, which is the first name. Then we got to let's chat slash chat and it got to that particular message. Okay, so this is how you can create a very simple bot in Java. You can do some few uh, minor, you know, changes, which is optimization. You can say, uh, you can uh, say like message, you can say string message is equals to update dot get message dot get text and you can just update it okay you can replace this uh, by message msg message update dot get message dot get text we are not printing it anymore so just some few optimization you can say message dot equals and every time you are comparing and you are sending the response back or to send a photo to someone okay so for that i will select uh, one of the images okay for uh, like just like a cat or you can use any other photo if you want okay i will open the image in new tab and i will copy this url now how to send a photo you have to create a photo object Okay, send photo object will say pick is equals to new send photo now it will ask you for the chat ID that you know and next is uh, for the photo the actual photo it will ask you for an input file so you can create an input file like this new input file and you will paste the URL inside it like that and for the chat ID you will say update dot get message dot get chat id okay and you will say dot to string perfect now uh, you want to execute it as well after then i'll create a command for that and the command would be if message dot equals slash cat so it will send you a cat pic okay so i'll go here inside that we will say send photo and we will execute it execute pick surround it with try catch let's run it now perfect so it's uh, running now let's check if I do slash photo hopefully it should work oh sorry it is slash cat actually slash cat 
see it sends me that particular picture that i want so this is the picture that i received so you can change it with any other uh, picture by just pasting the link or if you have that particular file somewhere inside your folder only so then you can give that particular path as well here okay inside that new input file so this is how you can send photo uh, using your telegram bot now we will see how to send a video uh, to your telegram bot okay so your tell if i send slash video my telegram bot will respond with a corresponding video whatever i provide so i'll write if message dot equals slash video then uh, i will create an object of send video like this send video video is equals to new send video now again it is taking two parameters one is the chat id and another one is the input file okay so same way i'm going to paste it here i, I will remove the link the previous link okay so here i am going to provide inside the input file i am going to provide the new link for the video and after then i will execute it execute video gif that i am going to use it can, you can say it as a gif or a video i'll copy this link and i will paste it here inside my file attachment now if i start my bot okay let's see if i do slash video it should send me that particular att attachment slash video let's see see we got that video back that means the gif back as you can see same way here it the bot responds me with this video so this is how you can send a video to a through your telegram bot